Welcome everyone. My name is Katie and I'm an educator at the UMFA. For this five minute art break, we'll be exploring the element of art, texture. Before jumping into our own art making, we'll look together at this work from 1896 by French artist Alfred Arthur Brunel de Neville. Of the five senses, texture is connected to our sense of touch. It's the way something feels. But artists can be clever and show texture without us ever having to reach into the artwork to feel it. Let's start by looking at this print and paying special attention to all the visual textures that you see. Pretend your eyes are like a computer scanner and you're trying to take in every little detail. Look at the top, then go down one side, Trail your eyes across the bottom to the other side. Examine that last side. Then let's go into the middle and sweep your eyes from top to bottom, seeing every part. Just when you think you've noticed everything, look a little closer and find a new detail you didn't see before. So what do you think is going on in this artwork? What do you see that makes you say that? What else can we find? There are a lot of details in this artwork, especially with all of the objects and their textures. Thinking about these textures, you can get the idea of what they would feel like using your past experiences and through the details in the work. You can know the softness to the fur of the cats, not just because you've petted a cat before, but by looking at the little wispy lines drawn and the way the outline of the cats is soft and fuzzy. Or for another opposite texture, you can get an idea about the rough feel of the crack in the wall by looking at the hard, dark line. Pause the video and make a list of at least five things in this artwork with different textures. Pause now. Now that you have your list of objects and textures, get ready to pause again and go back over each one, writing about what the artist did to help give you an idea about what that texture would feel like. This is like what we talked about with the little lines and fuzzy quality to the cat's fur. Pause now. Why do you think the artist included all these different textures and objects in this artwork? Remember, everything we see in an artwork is a choice by the artist. How does adding texture make it a more interesting work? One way is how Brunel de Neville has carefully placed the cats and each object to tell us a story. He even titled the work Anxious Moments. Feeling anxious is being worried, nervous, uneasy, queasy, or even a little scared. Does knowing the title change the story that you see? How do the different objects with their variety of textures and placement help tell that story? Let's make our own still life. A still life is a type of artwork that depicts carefully placed objects. You can make one with whatever you have around you. Wherever you're watching this, look around and find things with a variety of textures. Pick five objects with different textures to include in your drawing and find a flat surface to put them on. This can be a table, chair, or even the floor. After you've gathered all of your objects, Think about where you want to place each one in your artwork and what you want next to each other. How can you use your objects and where you put them to tell a story? By thinking about this first, you can do what Alfred Arthur Brunel de Neville did in anxious moments. Play around with your arrangement until it's just right and you feel ready to begin drawing. All you need is a paper and pencil but you can always add in color with whatever art materials you have on hand, like colored pencil, watercolors, etc. 
While you're drawing, go back to the list you made earlier and think about how to show and give the idea of textures in your artwork. Think about those little details. We'd love to see your work. If possible, post on social media with hashtag UMFA at home and tag us on Instagram or Facebook with at Utah Museum of Fine Arts or on Twitter with at UMFA. Thank you for joining us and taking an art break.